Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Anavi MacroPad 8 is a programmable open source small mechanical keyboard with backlighting, underlighting, and a mini OLED display. Here I have the developer kit with the clinic enclosures and a mini yellow blue OLED display. The kit does not require any soldering, and the assembly guide is super simple. Although you can assemble it with your bare hands, simple tools like screwdriver, tweezers, and a keycap puller might be useful. Anime MacroPad 8 Developer Kit comes with 8 Gateron red mechanical switches. If you prefer another type of switches, have a look at the Maker Kit which requires soldering but allows you to use different Cherry MX compatible switches or even make a hot swap upgrade. The first step is optional. Each kit includes a set of stickers. Feel free to add them to the translucent keycaps included in Anime MacroPad 8 Developer Kit. You can do it with your bare hands or eventually with the help of tweezers. You can place a sticker on the top or on the side of the keycap. If you like retro electronics, you may find some similarities in this approach to the famous keyboard of the best-selling personal computer of the 20th century, Commodore 64. Anavi MacroPad 8 is powered by the popular open-source firmware QMK, which allows you to create various layouts. You can make a key map with two or more layouts. A sticker on the side of the keycap might be useful as a visual aid to indicate the additional function of the key. Step number two, place all keycaps on the eight mechanical switches of Anavi MacroPad 8. You can easily do this with your bare hands. It takes just a few seconds. As you can see in the video, a keycap puller might be useful if you make a mistake and want to pull off a keycap and place it on another location. Of course, you can do the same with your bare hands, but with a keycap puller, it's easier. Now, let's assemble the acrylic enclosure. Step number 3. Peel off the protective films from both sides of the two laser-cut transparent acrylic parts. The removal of the protective films is quite annoying, but once you get rid of them, the acrylic enclosure will be crystal clear and fully transparent. Step number 4. Assemble the acrylic enclosure. In the cardboard box, you will also find M3 black plastic screws, nuts and standoffs. Although you can assemble them with your bare hands, a screwdriver might be handy. First place four of the standoffs with screws to the bottom acrylic part. After that, place Anavi MacroPad 8 on top of them. The printed circuit board has four mounting holes for this purpose. Add the rest of the standoffs on top of Anavi MacroPad 8 to secure the printed circuit board to the bottom part as shown in the video. Place the top acrylic part and fasten it with the four M3 nuts. Finally, add the silicon protective pads to the screws on the bottom. Step number 5 is optional. The default open source QMK firmware for Anavi MacroPad 8 supports mini OLED display connected over the communication bus I2C. Here I have the official compatible yellow blue mini OLED display. It comes with four jumper wires which might be useful for debugging purposes or if you plan to make a custom 3D printed case. However, for the default acrylic enclosure, the wires are not needed at all. Peel off the protective film and place the mini OLED display as shown in the video to Anavi MacroPad 8. Pay attention to the label that indicates the pin connectors of the display. They must match the labels on the keyboard. Step number 6. Plug a USB to micro USB cable to connect Anavi MacroPad 8 to a personal computer. Thanks to the QMK firmware, Anavi MacroPad 8 will be detected as a human interface device and should work out of the box. Furthermore, with QMK, you have the freedom to fully customize each key. Please note that a USB to micro USB cable is not included in any of the kits. Reuse a cable from an old electronics or purchase a cable according to your taste. Make sure that the cable supports both power and data transfer over USB. Thank you for your attention. Check the links below for more information, including a video about a hot swap upgrade for a mechanical keyboard.
Have fun with Anavi MacroPad 8 and please have a look at our other open source hardware gadgets. If you find this video useful, hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.